Good morning, you guys. What's up? What's really, really good? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacey Esopalaca, and you are getting me or catching me at what time is it? Because we have to go soon. 7.47 in the morning. Como están? How are you? Buenos dias. Let me set you down so we can talk. Hello, everybody. Long time no talk, long time no see. Well, I don't know when you saw me last but I feel like I haven't vlogged in a minute. So I wanted to vlog today because today we're gonna be cleaning out my closet completely, literally completely. I am really good at getting rid of things that I no longer use, that I haven't used in a year, that just hold up space in my closet. Now, I had been meaning to do this for probably about two to three weeks now, but you guys, I've been so busy. It is so incredible how busy you can be almost doing like nothing. Like I'm not not doing nothing, but I'm, yeah, I'm not doing nothing. Am I saying that right? I hope, it's too early. Anyway, so today's the day. We're clearing out my closet. We're letting it all out. We're extracting what doesn't belong. But first, like I said, I live a really busy life. So right now, we actually have to go take the children to their walking class. If you've been here for a long time, you know my children have been, um, they have a trainer so they can learn how to walk. It's been one of the best things I've been able to do for them because they are such cute babies now. Like they walk, they don't bark at other dogs, they don't bark at other people if they walk close to us. They're still on alert watching out, but they're passive and they don't really bark at other dogs anymore, which makes me really, really happy. It makes me so grateful because that was one of the main reasons why I took them to classes because before when I would walk them, they would pull and they would try to like go with other dogs. And when the dog's walking with you, it's it's supposed to be that they're completely on you. Sina's shaking, so that means she has to go pee. We'll be back. Let's see you in the car. Thank you for being here. Loves you. See you now. All right, guys. We finished with your classic. Graduated today. The children graduated today. You did so good. You guys want a treat? Here go. There you go. Here go. Good boy. All right, guys. Now it's time to take Leo to the groomers. Hi guys, I'm on my way to get my lashes done now. <laughs> Finally, girl, oh my God. If you're wondering why I'm so bald, okay, if you get your lashes done, you normally wouldn't be this bald if you get them done every two weeks. The reason why I am so bald, it's because I've been getting my makeup done a lot these last two weeks with uh, the Satisfaction Walk Girls. And they obviously put fake lashes on me because normally that makeup is meant to be dramatic. So when you have lash extensions on, you're not supposed to put the falsies on. Brianna, my lash girl, is probably, me va a regañar, ya la conozco. She's gonna be like, you have lash glue on your lashes. And then I'm gonna be like, I'm sorry, Brianna. <gasps> but yeah, this is gonna be a full set. You guys, if you get your lashes done, I used to be a lash tech, so I know. If you get your lashes done and you're going back for your fill and you look like this, literally, with three lashes standing, just pay full set money. That is so messed up. This is not a fail. This is now a full set. It's disrespectful to your lash tech to go back like this and not pay full set money. Like a fail is like you have some missing, like you could still just fill them in. This is literally, she has to do the whole damn thing. So I already know, me va a regañar. She's gonna be like, why do you have no lashes left? And then I'm gonna be like, Brianna, I'm sorry. I have to get my makeup done for a couple of things. I apologize, I accept it. I don't even try to lie to her anymore because I remember when people used to come to me to get their lashes done and then they would put, um, they would put falsies on like when they would go out or something and then they would come back and they would have lash glue between their lashes and they would be like no i swear i didn't put falsies on and i'd be like girl how are you trying to lie to me like i'm looking at the lash glue on your lashes right now you know so i'm here let me show you what my lashes look like right now I, 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 I. this is what my lashes look like I cannot wait for them to be nice and full. I'm gonna tell, I, I get four, I, I'm late, I gotta go, but I get four teens in the middle and then I get, I don't go all the way out to the end. I'll show you right now when I get them done, but this is what it looks like before and let's see the after. Ta-da! I finished. All right guys, what do you think? Do I look beautiful or what? Okay, so I just finished my lashes. Oh, 
I feel much, much better about my life. I was literally looking like a bald eagle, but gracias a Dios, my girl already hooked me up and left me looking nice, fluffy, and fresh. You guys, thankfully, everything has worked out after schedule. I really was nervous about the fact that I was going to be late to places because my schedule was so tight today, but we are well on our way to pick up Leo now from his groomer appointment. And we're gonna see how he does. Let me see, this is rerouting. I went, oh, there you go. So we're gonna see how it went for him. The place that I put, so basically I found this groomer's place because of our dog trainer. She takes her dogs there. And I looked at the Yelp reviews and they literally have five stars. As you guys know, I'm like really, really, really like, it's really important for me that my dogs get taken care of and that they're super happy. Leo hasn't always had the best experiences at the groomers, unfortunately, like, the places where he's gotten taken to before, I could just feel like the vibe wasn't the best, you know? So hopefully right now he's happy. We're gonna pick him up, we're gonna feed him, and then we're finally gonna clean my damn closet. Woo, that I'm so, so, so excited to do. I, I'm thrilled to see what I have, what I can donate, and what I can include in my new closet so let's try to pick up leo he's gonna look so handsome i should have shown him to you guys before he was very fluffy but he got the summer haircut because it gets really hot now so we're gonna pick him up we're gonna see how he looks and hopefully he's really really happy good boy wow hold on Over. Wow! You guys, look at how handsome Leo looks! Wow! Leo, so handsome! So handsome, Leo! Wow! Hello, everybody! I'm back at my house and ready to spring clean. Now, I know it's a little bit late for spring cleaning. Are we still in spring? We're still in spring. I believe we're still in spring. It's May. It's like the middle of May. Look at this child, she wants to jump. Come on. It's time to start cleaning. It's time to start decluttering. It's time to get rid of everything that I haven't worn at least in one year. And basically what that allows me to do is it allows me to keep room in my closet and to make sure that I'm keeping clothes that I necessarily 100% love and wear i have a habit of wearing something and then leaving it in my closet for just in case i might be able to wear it some other time even though i know i'm never gonna wear it but just in case i ever have to wear it now i know there's a difference between like timeless pieces like something that holds sentimental value to you like your wedding dress or like a really expensive like name brand blazer or coat that you're gonna have for the rest of your life but i'm talking more about like the pieces that I know I'm not going to wear, so I'm not going to get rid of 100% everything, but I'm also going to be putting my jackets and my coats away for the year. It's pretty safe to say that it's not going to be cold for the rest of the year, at least until winter comes back around. So because I do have a really small space in my closet, I want to make sure that I utilize it to its max capacity, max, max, max capacity, and that we're taking 100% advantage of what the closet looks like. You guys, look at how small my closet is, literally. It's probably like less than six, six feet from here to here. So let me show you what the inside looks like. Please don't judge. I know it's a mess. Don't judge, okay? So this side is where I have my dresses, my shoes, my skirts, etc. And then this side is where I have... Oh, no. Some, oh, no. Not so much. Where I have sweaters, jackets other etc we're gonna be going through every single piece seeing what i want to keep what i don't want to keep what i want to donate what i want to give away what i want to give to my friends that they may want to use so let's get into it and then after we might go through my cajones and stuff to me just cleaning gives you like a whole new space it gives you like a whole new opportunity because look let me tell you guys a metaphor of life if you don't open up to receive because you're holding on so tightly, you are never gonna receive new things. So you have to have a loose grip, even on the things you love, because if they're meant for you, they will stay for you. If they're not meant for you, you gotta let them go and let and allow room for new things to come by. Let's go.
Okay, guys, sorry I had to turn off the lights on you, but it's really, really hot in here. But I took out a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of, a lot of clothes. So I think what's happening is when I tend to order clothes online, a lot of times, because you don't get to see like the feel of the fabric and how it looks, I feel like you order something and it might look a little bit different when you actually order it. So right now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to stay in with like pastel colors, very vibrant colors, very cute colors. I feel like in the in the last year, we were really into like nudes, neutrals, making everything look very cohesive. And I feel like now there's a lot of vibrancy, a lot of bright colors, a lot of in your face, which is why I actually got rid of a lot of my nude clothes. So look. That portion used to be a lot bigger and now it's just this little section right here, which is okay. I don't mind this nude section because I feel like I could still wear it. So one of the things that I did get rid of a lot, let me show you, is first of all, anything that shows my butt. If it shows my butt, I'm getting rid of it. Like, especially like dresses that look really cute on girls that are like 5'1". But something like this looks too short on me and then on my butt, it's literally right at the end of my butt so i got rid of it another thing is anything that has um como se llama ridges not ridges but like little lines like this i feel like this little lines usually cloth that's like this for example another example is like this dress because this is like a tight dress but it also has like the ridges on it and it just like you can make it work but it's not gonna look as cute and as put together as something that's like nice and solid so let me show you some of the stuff that I kept. I kept something like this. It's a Rinko. I only need one. It's pink, but I already know that when I have it, or I mean when I need it, it's going to be available. I kept my most absolute favorite sweaters. Humble but lavish, you already know. I kept my sheep... Um, mi, mi chamarra de borrego from Levi's. This was a gift for Amy. It's one of my favorites. I wear it all the time. I kept a nice natural neutral coat i kept a nice leather jacket and on this side i kept some of my favorite dresses i like the prints i like the bright colors i like things like this you know so it's like bright and in your face um i have a lot of white out right now because as you know spring and summer are basically here and basically this is what the new closet looks like this is going on the donation pile. There's stuff in there that still has tags, which is bad. I should be more thoughtful of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and donate that out. Look at all the ganchos I had in my closet that were just taking up room. And well, I mean now, either taking up room or I, I got rid of the clothes. So let's put these ganchos away. Let's put this in a box so we can donate it. And then, conti, vamos.